what's up what's happening what's popping what's going on guys welcome back to another great episode of simone with the sizzle yeah. i'm simone bringing you guys the daily sports talk and i'm getting back daily so play with her make sure you guys if you're new here if you're over here you haven't subscribed yet make sure you like this video make sure you leave a comment make sure you subscribe also check out the link down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel buy me that coffee a shout out to everybody that bought me coffee so far. Also, there's a link below to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, some of your favorite former and current athletes. Chop it up with us on the pod. And without further ado, let's get into my three round mock draft. Yes, we talked a lot about the first round. We talked a little, 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 little. Did we talk about the second round? We haven't talked about the second round. But let's go ahead and jump into the three round mock draft because one thing I hate is when I see a mock draft. It's only the first round. So I'm like, why am I doing y'all like that? Because y'all need to know strategically my plans beyond Jamar Chase. <laughs> so obviously the Eagles are a team that needs a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We, we, we need help everywhere. Everywhere. So basically, now I don't want... <sighs> you guys are so freaking particular. There's several ways we could go with the mock... This is mock draft 1.0, three-round mock draft. Now there's other situations... There's other, now we can either go offensive first or defense first. But in this mock draft, this here mock draft, because like I said, some of y'all going to be in the comments like, we need to go. This is just one scenario. It's a billion in different combinations. Also, this mock draft does not feature any trades. You guys, I'll do one with trades later, but you guys know how I've done those trade back videos. Go watch my mock trade back videos. But this is just 1.0. We're going to do several of these. This is one scenario. Cause I know y'all will get down there and talk about, but well, what about so and 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 so? You get one pick, one pick. This is one scenario. Yeah. Let me stop playing with y'all. So with the first overall pick in this mock draft, someone with this Blizzards three round mock draft 1.0. The Philadelphia Eagles are selecting Jamar Chase wide receiver out of LSU. Now guys, I'm gonna say this right here and right now. Mark my words, cause I might contradict myself later. <laughs> so remember that I said this. If Jamar Chase is on the board, we have to go Jamar Chase. I know I've said trade backs and stuff, but guys, I'm saying this right here, right now. On this March 5th, we cannot, if Jamar, we have to get Jamar Chase. We need that bona fide, bona fide, bona fide, bona fide star. We not leaving Jamar Chase, okay? Unless a team is willing to give up 50, okay, not 50, let me not be Unless a team is willing to give up hella first round picks. Two, at least two. We not, number one, Jamar Chase, we can't, Jamar Chase is there, boom, we can't. We played ourselves several years, for several years. Jamar Chase, number one. So in the second round, we have the number 37th overall pick. So with the number 37th overall pick, we can either go, I know I said I was picking one, but we can either go, we got to go cornerback. If we're going wide receiver number one, second round, we got to go cornerback. We need some depth at the cornerback. We need more than just Darius Slay. We don't know if Nikhil, Roby Coleman is staying or not. We need some depth there. Avanti Maddox has not proven to be the number two guy yet across from Darius Slay. And we don't even know what we're doing with Nikhil. So, number two, we're either going J.C. Horn out of South Carolina or Asante Samuel Jr. out of SF FSU. Just depending which one is there at 37, we're going with one of those. We're going cornerback at number two. So, we got our wide receiver and we got a good, a great cornerback, either in Asante or J.C. Horn. Period. Now when we get to the third round, guys, we have two picks in the third round. And I'm super excited for my third round picks. Now, when it comes to the third round, I feel like we need to grab a safety. Because, one, we don't know what's about to happen with Jalen Mills. Jalen Mills is a free agent, and Jalen Mills was Jim Short's project. Jalen Mills, obviously, former cornerback, well, former safety at LSU, then he played um, cornerback for the Eagles. Then we moved him to safety after we lost Malcolm Jenkins. It's time to get, we need that Malcolm Jenkins. We need Malcolm Jenkins. We need a Malcolm Jenkins. I'm not saying this pick is going to be Malcolm Jenkins, but we need a Malcolm Jenkins. Like, we need a Malcolm Jenkins or that defense. 
Jalen Mills obviously struggled a little bit. Obviously, the whole, the whole team was struggling a lot. But I just don't know if we're keeping Jalen Mills. And besides that, um, we don't know if we're keeping Jalen Mills. Um, we don't know what Kavon Wallace's time or whatever is going to be looking looking like his play time, his development, and then, so he's a question mark. So Jalen Mills is a question mark, Kavon is a question mark, and then um, Rodney McLeod, obviously coming off injury, is a question mark too, because you know when guys come off injury, you don't know. So we need to shore up the safety position as well, because we got three question marks. Now I love me some Rodney McLeod, but you know, coming off injury, you just have no idea. So. That's why with the number 70 overall pick in the third round, we're going Richie Grant safety out of Central Florida. Now, Richie Grant got all the praises from the Senior Bowl. They were saying Richie um, was great um, against the run and also great one-on-one -on -one in coverage with receivers. They said he was looking like a cornerback the way he was clamping down or was able to clamp down on receivers in coverage. So I definitely could see us going um, Richard Grant number three in JC Horn or Asante number two, especially since our new um, defensive coordinator Jonathan Cannon is a um, defensive back guy. So, what more do we want than to shore up the DB room? Now, we got an additional third round pick from Carson Wentz. That Carson Wentz trade and number 89 overall, we're going Trey Sermon running back out of Ohio State. Now, we need to shore up the running back room, and Trey Sermon is a guy that can be a bruiser back. Love Miles Sanders, but you guys know Miles Sanders is uh, fragile. We need more depth behind Miles Sanders, and I'm just, Boston Scott is just not my, I love Boston Scott, love what he's done, stood up for the team, but Boston Scott is not my RB2 or whatever you want to call it. You see with the 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 Colts how they have a stars in their um they have stars in their running back room. Um Jonathan Taylor, Naheem Hines, Marlon Mack before he got hurt. Those are three great guys. And Nick Sirianni's offense when he was an offensive coordinator with the Colts, they did a lot with their running backs. They did a lot with their running backs, especially as receivers. And we know Boston Scott is a good receiving back, but I just really want us to shore up our running back room. And I think getting um, Trey Sermon out of Ohio State with the number 89, 83rd or 89, 89th overall pick will just be great to add that bruiser back to our collection and try to have Miles and Trey Sermon. I think that is a great step in the right direction for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let me know what you guys think about my three round mock draft. I have us going um, Jamar Chase, wide receiver. Then I have us going with the number two overall pick, I think pick 37. I have us going Asante Samuel or JC Horn, cornerback for sure. Number three, Richie Grant, safety out of Central Florida. And number four, a running back. Everything I want this Eagles team to improve at. Let me know what you guys think though. I know you guys will. Um, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well because I'm trying to get back right posting the videos like boom, 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 boom. So make sure you turn the notification bell on as well and check out the link down below to buy me a copy. Bye.